Almost two months after the Russian Coast Guard attacked three Ukrainian vessels and captured 24 sailors, Ukraine's Foreign Minister Pavel Klimkin met his German counterpart on Friday, and one message stood out. Moscow must ensure freedom of navigation in the Kerch Strait in accordance with international law. I want to emphasize on the issue with the situation in the Kerch Strait and the Azov Sea. First of all, of course, we welcome the initiative, which is a joint French-German initiative on the control and monitoring of freedom of navigation in the Kerch Strait. Of course, this is very important for us, but all civilized states must enjoy the freedom of navigation in accordance with the fundamental principles of international law. I want to stress that the freedom of navigation applies to the Kerch Strait and Azov Sea. Wir machen uns äh, eben auch Sorgen um die Entwicklung im Azovschen Meer. We are also concerned about developments in the Azov Sea. Today I made it clear in Moscow, both in talks with Russian representatives, especially with Sergei Lavrov, but also publicly, what we expect in this regard. Russia should guarantee free passage through the Kerch Strait. We hear that this is currently the case. And we want that this is being guaranteed permanently, because a crisis, as we experienced in November, must not happen again. And that is why, first and foremost, we need clarity about the situation on the ground. The German foreign minister also called for the release of the captured Ukrainian servicemen. The arrest of the Ukrainian sailors is unacceptable, and we request their immediate release. This, of course, also applies to other prisoners, for example, film director Oleg Sintsov, to name but one. This remains the case, together with, unfortunately, many other cases that, as far as the German government is concerned, needs to be solved by Russia. We continue to advocate for their release, and we will not let up with regard to this vis-à-vis -vis the Russian side. Energy security was also another important topic at the meeting, especially within the context of the construction of the Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline. The German delegation highlighted the importance of preserving Ukraine as a transit route for Russian gas to Europe.